mutton busting is to start kids out that, that like to sport a rodeo and want to get involved. So they get some used to the feeling of them moving and competition. And Kids crawl to the, the back of those little bucking shoots. Those aren't little bucking shoots. That's an 1,800-pound bull in there with horns this wide, you know. At their age, it's probably pretty dead, pretty difficult. I mean, it's probably about compared to us riding big, big bulls. Last year there was only three time slots, so this year we added a couple more, and I think it's going better. But we're still filling the slots up. There's about 300 kids that that ride over the the five performances. I found it on the website and I was pretty excited when I saw it because he'd done it before in Arizona so did his sister so a lot of fun. We just love the fair. His older brother didn't want to do it so he's he's taken one for the team. <laughs> and how does mom feel about that? Oh I'm excited. I think it'll be fun. They're excited. They talked about it all morning long. When you do want nothing you have to hold on to them on their fur with your hand and then you have to put wrap your legs around them and hold on to them. It's scary for a little kid to get on sheep just like it's scary to get on bulls. Usually when we go to these deals, they don't have to ride for six seconds. Uh, we usually give them a score or whatever. Uh, six seconds is pretty tough on these things. What we look for is if they set up and have control when, when they're riding, not hanging off off to the side and, yeah. and keep, keep keeping up with the sheep. They uh, sometimes have to have a little coax and then you see them, they'll come out, they'll fall, slide in the ground, they get up and they're smiling, you know, when can we do it again? I, I think the kids are having fun, they look like they're having fun. There's been a few criers, but it's fun. And it's there's tons of kids doing it and they all love doing it. And there's fun music and the judges are fun, so it's a blast. It, they love it everywhere you go. No matter what happens during the rest of the rodeo, this is the part where the grandmas come, the great grandmas come, and, and this is where the stories are told. And this is where the addiction of rodeo, I like to say, it's where they get hooked right here.